what is going on guys welcome back to another video now in this video we are back to our bread and butter we are going to be talking about max bounty today i know all of you really love max bounty and so this is what i'm going to be covering today i think it's been a while at least a couple of videos since we talked about max bounty and so we're going to be talking about a particular vertical a particular category of max bounty offers that we are going to be promoting using a specific traffic source all right and so this is going to be a very very informative video you're going to learn from a to b to c to d to z how to promote specific offers on a really really good traffic source okay and so before we begin if you are new here if you like cpa or affiliate marketing we have daily videos every single day we have a brand new video on promoting either cpa marketing offers or affiliate marketing offers or maybe doing something else some side hustle uh, making money through five or, or something like this lots of lots of interesting techniques that you can pretty much incorporate into whatever you're doing so having said that make sure you subscribe to the channel click the like button click the notification bell so you do not miss any brand new videos all right that would be highly appreciated now having said that let's get into the training all right so here i am in my main max bounty dashboard this is the search campaign screen and I spent a lot of time here. I spent like most of my day here and I'm always looking at different offers to promote. But here's the most important thing is that different categories here is that they can be promoted in different ways. You know, it's not only you have different kind of, you know, categories here, but you also have different types of offers, different cost structure, different bounty. It, it works in different ways. And so this is something you have to guys, you, you need to understand because no two offers are the same no two categories are the same and no two types of offers are the same max bounty is extremely diverse and it's a great place to really do all kinds of marketing you know it's something that like clickbank doesn't do or share sale really doesn't do there's so much variety here you know it's like a melting pot of offers you know it's like new york city where you, you can meet pretty much any kind of person all kinds of people this is the same thing with Max Bounty. It's like the New York City of uh, CPA marketing, or affiliate marketing. And so you can pretty much promote all kinds of offers. And this is something I want to talk about today. Now, the, the traffic source, and you know, this is very important, is that you have to know this part. You have to know this part first, but you also have to know this part. This is the types of offers. This is where we're going to be running this offer. So you need to know both of these things. Now we are going to be promoting on Bing today, right? I want to promote on Bing. And so what kind of offers can I promote on Bing? Well, I can't really promote sweepstakes. I could do surveys if, if I hack it a little bit. There's a bunch of offers I can't really do. I can't really do zip submits. I can't really do, you know, free stuff because it's going to, it's going to cost me money. So I can't really do that. What I really like promoting on Bing, and obviously this is not the only vertical. There's a lot of other verticals, but if you're a beginner, this is the offer. This is the vertical you want to do. And so what I really re recommend is e-commerce. Okay. So we're going to click on e-commerce. We're going to do approve to run and we're going to apply search options. And Max Bounty is going to quickly return to us a bunch of different e-commerce offers. Now there's a certain problem. Okay. That if you have seen my previous videos, you're going to know about this. If you haven't, you're going to learn about this now so that you know for the future is that when you put e-commerce, you do not see all e-commerce offers. You see start a career. I don't remember there is a physical product called start a career. At least when I went on Amazon and I searched on Amazon, I do not know a start a career or I went to my uh, you know neighborhood Walmart store or hardware store. I do not know a start a career product there. And so this is something you have to understand. This is an interesting product. I don't, I don't think this is an e-commerce. It could be an e-commerce product. If you guys know what this is, leave a comment below because I'm seeing this for the first time. I have no idea what that is. Um, this is wholesale shopping. This is a popular site, uh, Chinese site. So this is an interesting one. And so it's kind of mixed in treehouse is not an e-commerce. Uh, it's not a physical product, right? E-commerce is electronic commerce it's uh it's physical right it's physical products so there's a lot of not physical products if you want your life to be complicated you can basically browse around and try to guess or try to open the offer or try to go to amazon and see if there's a, actually a physical product if you want to make things very simple you just basically type e-com 
and you apply search options and you're gonna see pure e-commerce products. So right away, I basically have a list of about 20 plus offers here. And the beautiful thing about e-commerce is that we have a high CPA rate. Why do we have a high CPA rate? We have a high CPA rate because this is a physical product, because we're getting paid per sale, not per lead. I don't think they're gonna give us per, uh, per lead, right? So it says per lead, but it's gonna be per sale because nobody's gonna give us 48 per, per lead unless that lead actually buys something, right? Nobody's gonna give us $48 just for the email uh, or name or phone number or anything like that. Uh, so that is something, uh, something important to keep in mind. So what we have is here per sale. And this is a sale, this is not a CPA, this is more like an affiliate marketing offer. And this makes it a lot more economical and the whole thing makes a lot more sense on Bing Ads where you're bidding for keywords, where you can bid, you know, 50 cents, a dollar, dollar 50, two dollars, et cetera, et cetera. It makes a lot more sense. And so these offers I recommend for beginners. There's a lot of other offers you can promote, but they're more advanced. If you wanna see more advanced offers, leave it in the comments below. Let me know if you wanna see more kind of, um, you know, other verticals that you wanna do on Bing Ads. Bing Ads is awesome. I love using Bing Ads, although it wasn't the first traffic source that I made my first dollar with Max Bounty. Do you have any idea what, what traffic source I use for Max Bounty? If you have any guesses, leave a comment below. I'm gonna have something special for you. So if you wanna do that, that would be great. It, it wasn't Bing Ads, it was something else. And so maybe I'll make a video about it in the future. Anyway, coming back to this, we have e-commerce offers. Any of these offers you can pretty much promote on Bing Ads. So we have this uh, eye weight sale, we have headphones, we have water mask, neck hammer, cold sleep pillow, we have a smart translator, anti-snoring septum, uh, TV flash drive, safe alarm, neck relax. And so you can kind of take a look uh, what kind of offer you want to promote. So look, how about this slim shaper? Let's open this offer up and let's take a look what the offer is about. Okay, so if we open this up, we are gonna see, we're gonna learn a little bit more about the offer and we're gonna see, so right away my, my eyes, they basically come on this and this is search. We're allowed to do search and most of these you are allowed to do search. We're getting 36 per sale and we can build a tracking link and we have different landing pages. We have an advertorial, we have a checkout page, right? So we can actually build our own landing page and then link to this checkout page. And so we can really go to search uh, we can do, uh, we can do, you know, we can do search here, search, select the creative search. Okay, we have advertorial and a checkout. Okay, and so uh, we have different banners also, so we can click on this. We have banners. Well, actually, as the case is, we only have one banner. And so this is your product, right? What does it says? The abdominal shaper and reducer that will help you burn fat. Easy and convenient use made of lycro and Velcro clasp that is adjustable and elastic. Use it while working out to increase the amount of calories burned. So this is the product we are gonna be promoting. And so here is the Slim Shaper, here's the checkout page. If we have our own landing page, which is something we're gonna be doing as well, we're gonna be linking to this directly. I love uh, designing checkout, I love designing landing pages because it gives me a lot more control. And so it makes a lot more sense. And so we have network EPC of 36 cents. So we have all the information that we need. The most important thing is we're allowed on search. We can do basically search here. We're gonna do um, select the creative for search. We can do that. Search is all good. There's no restrictions. And we're gonna be doing this checkout, right? So we have the link here. We copied it. We're good to go. The next step is you wanna go to this website called SoftR. Dot io okay and this is a really really easy landing page creator I, I actually had a video on it i think it was last video a couple of videos back some people asked me if i can do another video with something else with max bounty or clickbank or something else and that is exactly what i'm doing today uh, because in the previous video where i used this tool it was not affiliate marketing we were building our own business and here i want to show you how you can do it for affiliate marketing so i already have a kind of a page saved up, we're gonna click on this and you can do that when you land on the main landing page. You can basically start your design from a pre-designed template. So it makes things a lot easier. And so it's loading and once it loads, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create a very, very quick landing page, okay? And so we have a landing page that we used for another project. We're gonna modify it right now I'm gonna, and I'm gonna show you 
how simple and easy it is to basically create a landing page if you want. So the first thing you want to do, and I want to make sure we're selected on laptop because these are different previews. And what I want to do is I want to modify. I'm just going to modify. I'm not going to change everything on this page, but I'm going to show you just so that you understand. So you get the hang of it. Okay. So it's a lot simpler. And so the first thing you want is you want to basically go back to the offer and you want to take a look at the regular landing page. So here we have the land, the, the regular landing page. We want to get an idea of what they're trying to do, what their angle is, uh, what this is the basic landing page. This is an advertorial and we're going to use this, the body shaper used by celebrity. So this is their main angle. Okay. So we're going to go back here and we are going to go. So I don't really like that. I'm going to change it. Uh, lose weight, lose weight quickly and easily. Something like this. Try out the slim shaper very very simple right we have a very very quick kind of headline with a you know a very important benefit and then we have the kind of a little bit of an introduction right we have an email here we have another part here where we have an email capture this is something you can basically leave you don't have to leave this image you have to basically modify it so you can basically click on this you can change it and you can basically upload a new image that's that's it now we have basically the kind of a little bit more where remember the purpose of this is to grab attention. We want to grab attention. The purpose of this is to explain more about it. Okay, we grab the attention. What's next? And this is very important. So what are we going to do is we're going to go back to the Slim Shaper and we're going to scroll down. Improves posture. This is a bunch of benefits. You can use it wherever. The best shaper is called the Slim Shaper. So this is a little bit confusing to me. They even have a video, which is very interesting. We can do YouTube ads as well. So perfect for slimming, main advantages, a bunch of benefits here, a bunch of stuff. So what we're going to do is uh, we are basically going to go back and I'm just going to start just changing things around and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be explaining it as I'm doing it. So lose weight, losing weight has never been simpler and easier or something or we're going to make this the subtitle and for the title we're going to get, are you tired? promise but don't deliver something like this losing weight has never been has never been has never been simpler and easier something like this you're gonna modify this image again i would recommend just you using whatever they have uh you can go back you can basically use this banner here i don't want to do that because it's a very you know it's a process it's a very simple process right you can just basically download it in fact let me download it just to show you how it's going to work so I'm going to open this. I'm going to save this, save this image. So I basically saved an image from Max Bounty's resources and I upload it. So you can basically place it here. It's very, very simple. I just changed it and, and upload it. And then you can basically list the benefits. And so you can also do the same thing for the images. If you are not sure whether you can use the images from the landing page, I recommend contacting your affiliate manager. They would be happy to basically clear things for you. And so we are going to go back we are going to look at different uh, parts of this landing page. We're going to look at different benefits. So if we open this landing page, we have various benefits, right? Designed by experts. Uh, you can basically copy and pay paste these benefits. So for instance, designed by experts. So I would not really write everything. I would just say designed by experts. And in this example, what you can do, let me explain to you what you can do. You can basically do something like this. Designed. And then what you're going to do is you, maybe you can put some kind of a doctor in the white lab coat, something that looks very authentic and credible. You can do that. And then, then you're going to do basically, you're going to basically list the benefits. So I have three benefits or three different pieces of information. We're going to list three benefits. We're going to scroll down. This is a pricing table. Uh, we can basically, so we don't really need a pricing table because what we're going to do is we're going to redirect to the, to the basically buy it now. We're not going to list the price. We're basically going to have a checkout here. So we have checkout. We basically have this. We're going to copy this. We're not going to have the price on this. You can have the price. You can basically split test it if you want. But in my opinion, you don't need it. So you can basically hide this. There's a price field. We can hide it and you can basically buy it now. You can have basically a block here and you have a CTA, right? Call to action. You have, you have really nice call to actions. Look at this. 
you have this first one. Uh, I don't want to mouse over it because it basically um, stops displaying it. We have this 30 days. So we, ha uh, we have this one. I really like this one. So look at this. We put this call to action and you can basically put something like this. Look at this. Uh, get your slim shaper now. And that's it. You always want a call to action. And this is going to be basically open external URL. This is going to be our max bounty link. Okay. So it's not going to say click here. That's it, right? That's all you need to do. Super, super customizable. Uh, you can change the colors and all things. You can, you can do a lot of really, really interesting things. You can add more buttons, but you always want to have call to action. You don't even need this get in touch with us because they're not going to be getting in touch with us. They're either going to be buying or not buying. And so that's all you need to do. The other things are very simple. Just modify. You don't even need this. We're going to remove this uh, email capture as well. You don't need that. Uh, we only need, or you can have an email capture if you want to collect emails, but I, I would not have an email. You can modify the top. This is going to be basically uh, the name. You can have it, you know, as the name of the product, or you can have it as your own site, you know, like slim shape or reviews.com, something like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on publish. And then when you click publish, it's going to be under subdomain. So this, if you want your custom domain, you have to upgrade. There's a very small fee to upgrade. And just so you know, for transparency's sake, I am not affiliated with this product at all. There's no affiliate links or anything like that. Just the product I wanted to show you. And I already had a video on it. So I just want to show you again how to do it for CPA marketing. Because I know some people were wondering about that. So you're going to click on publish. And you're going to have this landing page on this URL. Okay. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to Microsoft Advertising, aka Bing. And you want to set up a campaign here. And that campaign is going to be running not to Max Bounty link. To this link here uh, you're gonna go into campaigns they have a new design which is really really nice and we're gonna set up a brand new campaign right now uh, specifically for this product we're gonna do visits to my website I actually really like this design we're gonna click on search ads we're gonna do next it's a lot cleaner and it kind of uh, in tune with the whole Microsoft uh, kind of UI I really like it it's a lot cleaner and so we're going to go and as you can see, there's basically the basic structure of this campaign. We have settings, ad groups and keywords, ads and ad extensions, budget and bits. So we're going to call this slim shaper one in case we want to run multiple campaigns. We can use campaign settings from another campaign. We are going to do $10 a day. You can do 15. Remember this product, right? We are getting what? 36 bucks per lead. So your campaign, you have to spend at least $36 to see if you have any leads you can not spend five dollars or like if we have ten dollars per day you can't run it for one day not have any sales and say okay this is not working okay you have to spend at least that amount because if you spend 36 and you don't have a sale you're still breaking even if you spend 40 and you don't have a sale okay if you spend 50 that's one and a half times okay that's about one and a half times then you kind of have to think about if you spend 72 that's two times and you don't have a sale. Some people even recommend two to three times your payout. Okay, so like 72 to whatever three times the payout is, right? 100 something. I recommend just spending at least the amount. So one times your payout are a little bit more than that. But do not stop if you haven't spent your payout, okay? We are going to do United States, which I like the best to start. We're going to do United States here. And we're just going to focus on United States because that is the best. They personally do not care where your sales are coming from. Money is money. So they don't really care. You want to unselect the second option. You want to have English. We're going to save and go to the next step here and seeing what is going on uh, with the next step. And the next time we have to set up ad groups and keywords. We don't really care about this ad group name we're just going to call it ag1 for ad group one and then we have basically the keywords so i'm just going to make it very simple i'm not going to spend a lot of time on it i'm just going to use simple simple keywords so what we want is slim shaper review slim shaper promo uh slim shaper you know so actually we have body shaper let's go into google and let's see if it's going to suggest something for us because google knows more than me so we can do slim shaper if i type slim shaper what are the related keywords so if i do this if i select it by miracle review swimwear bathing suit and this is going to be 
Magic Slim Shaper. So Magic Slim Shaper is one. And all of these, I guess most of these are pretty good. So we're gonna do Magic, Magic Slim Shaper. Uh, we're gonna do that. Then what else we have? Is this a specific Slim Shaper? Or what is this? Slim Shaper, look at them. Slim Shaper, the best body shaper. So I can even do body shaper, the best body shaper. Best body shaper, best body shaper 2020, slim shaper reviews 2020, slim shaper buy. That's a good one, slim shaper compare, slim shaper worth it. And these are just basic keywords that people are basically um, searching for. Now what you want to do is you want to basically have two variations. We're not going to do exact match. I typically like to do exact match. Since I don't really, since this is a, since I'm not really sure if people are exactly searching for these keywords, they are, but I think the volume is going to be fairly low for exact match keywords as they typically are all over the place. We are going to do plus, we're going to do something called the modified broad match. So we're going to do plus here, plus here. And that's because we want these keywords to appear, right? We want these keywords to appear in the search query. They don't need to be together. They do not need to be, uh, they, do not, they do not need to be together, but they have to be there. They don't need to be in a specific order. They don't need to be together in a specific order, but they have to be there. And this is what I like about modified broad match, because if you just do broad match without the plus signs, uh, that's going to be very different. That means that basically, it, you know, Bing is going to try to replace the keywords you're typing with synonyms, what it looks like. You never want to do broad match. It's just too broad. You're going to be basically wasting money. You're going to be burning money because your ad is going to be showing for keywords that are not the ones you want. Maybe something else entirely. And this is something that you do not want. And so you, we have our first ad group. We're just going to have one ad group. We're going to go save and go to the next step. And we're going to create the ad right now. And so I click on this. It's going to go to the ad screen here. And we're going to be creating the ad very, very quickly. We're not going to waste a lot of time. Very, very simple. And so we have various extensions. Extensions are basically additional pieces of information. This could be a price point. This could be a phone number, an address. We don't have a phone number, we don't have an address, this is not a physical store. What I do recommend is a price extension, right? Price extension means that if somebody is searching for it, they will basically see the price, right? So there are no ads, I'm not seeing ads, and this will depend on where you are in the world. But if you basically, you know, if they are clicking on the ad, you wanna make sure they know the price. You wanna make sure that it's not free, that it's not one dollar so you want to go to the landing page look at how much it costs and then you want to display this is something i recommend for e-commerce products because you know the higher the the cost of the product the more you should be basically showing the price because somebody clicks they they see a 200 dollars product they're gonna think twice and you're then guess what you already spent the money for the ad right you know being already made money from you but you may not make money yourself so you want to make sure you don't want Basically, you don't want people looking for freebies to basically land on your ad. And so that is something to keep in mind. You want to do a price extension. I'm not going to do this now it's because it's a very, very simple step. I want to create the ad with you real quick. And so what we need is the final URL. And this is going to be the URL that they're going to be landing in. Uh, so as you can see, remember, we created this and this is our final URL. So this is what we have to enter. And this is not very descriptive. This is what Bing is going to show. So I highly recommend upgrading to a custom domain or just buying your own custom domain. Or in this case, I would recommend just upgrading here. I think it's going to be an easier process than setting up, setting it up yourself. It's going to cost you like a couple of bucks probably. And you want to enter it here. If you had a custom domain, you see it's going to appear a very, very, it's going to be a lot more credible. And this could be Slim Shaper reviews. And you know, if I see Slim Shaper reviews, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna click on it because I'm gonna think, okay, this guy knows what he's talking about. This person, whoever is doing it, they know what they're talking about because they're doing reviews for Slim Shapers. And so we're gonna have a benefit. Uh, we're gonna go here, Slim Shaper, the best, something like this. Very, very simple. We have a title, part three. Uh, we have the path, right? And so here you can probably do something like Slim Shaper. So at least the name of the product appears on the URL. Otherwise, you know, this is obviously, it's very cryptic. It's not really applicable to what we're doing here. And we have add text, which is this part here, which is a little bit more of a description. 
So we can basically talk a little bit about tired of uh, weight loss gimmicks that promise the world but don't deliver. And that's it. Very, very simple. This is something you want to think about it. I just thought about it just on the spot. You know, this could be a good one. But if you take a little bit longer time, you may come up with something better. We have, uh, that's all we have to do. We have some preferences. You don't have to worry about it. That is all we have to do. The only thing I recommend, guys, and I know a lot of you are going to be like, I don't want to do this, is to get a custom domain. Okay, I have to say it because I want you, I want you guys to succeed. I have to say it. So this is very, very important. You want to have a custom domain. And so this is what I recommend. Otherwise, you're pretty much done. You can basically click. It's going to go into a review. And then, you know, we have a landing page. We're legit. We're complying with their terms and conditions. They're going to approve it and they're going to be sending traffic to our Max Bounty CPA marketing offers. All right, guys. So this is all I wanted to talk about. Like I said in the beginning of, of the video, there is a lot of other um, offers that you can promote Bing ads. But this is the easiest to start with. Maybe I'll have another video of promoting other verticals. So if you like Bing ads and you want me to talk about promoting some other verticals, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite vertical is and what you want me to explain, because I can pretty much I can pretty much promote anything on Bing ads. It's just a question of what you guys prefer. If you want to do another vertical, leave it, leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite vertical is and what you want me to make a video about on Bing ads. All right, guys. So. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We have daily videos on this channel every single day. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video.